So now thinking back to what we just said about trees and the multiplication method, then based on those two things, if there are M ways that a first event can happen and N ways that a second event can happen, we have something called the fundamental counting rule. So what happens is when order matters and repeats are allowed, which we'll go over in more detail in a minute, then to find the number of ways that the total process can happen is multiplication. Just multiply the M times N. And obviously this can be extended for as many events as you need. It's not just two items. For example, the problem that we left unanswered from before. How many different four-digit ATM PIN numbers are possible? So anytime you're asked how many, I'm gonna get some sort of whole number answer. There's five different ways, there's a gazillion different ways. I don't know what it is. But I wanna go back to, does order matter and are repeats allowed? Because if that's the case, I can use this fundamental counting rule. So first I ask myself, does order matter? Sometimes I have to think of an example to decide. So like, the pin number 1533 versus 5133. If you just flip the two first digits of your pin, are you still gonna be able to access your money? No. So yes, order does matter. Second question, um, are repeats okay? Are they allowed? Now we kind of just saw in the example above, 33 could be the last two digits of your pin, so obviously repeats are allowed, but you know, 7217. The 7 repeats. It doesn't matter where it repeats, but does a number repeat? That could easily be the pin to your ATM. So yes, repeats are possible. So now we're ready to use the fundamental counting rule. The first number of my ATM pin, the thing, the rule said how many ways for the first event to happen. So instead of putting an M here, I need to know that there are 10 ways I can pick the first digit to my ATM pin right, because zero through nine. No one said my pin cannot start with zero. So now I need to pick the second number in my pin, and there's still 10 ways because repeats are possible. Now, if I wasn't allowed to have a repeat, this would be different, and we'll actually see that method later. But I need to pick the third number in my pin and the fourth number in my pin. The multiplication and the fundamental counting rule say that I can multiply that to get a 1,000. So this means there are 1,000 different PIN numbers possible for my ATM card. Now be careful because sometimes people hear this and they're like, oh my God, there's only 1,000 different PINs out there? How, you know, is somebody not accessing my money? But don't forget that your PIN number is associated with your account. So, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people who have the same ATM PIN number without even knowing it, but because they all have different account numbers, you aren't all accessing each other's money.